Alright, this video is going to tell you how to reattach your PS2 power ribbon to the motherboard down in here. And hopefully it will be pretty quick and good for you to know. Um, this is a version 4 PS2, so the setup inside might be a little different. And so let's, let's get going. Alright, assuming that you've taken all your screws off because you've ripped apart your power ribbons to get inside it, um, just, you know, pick up the cap, and this thing, this little silver strip, which is connected to the, uh, reset and eject button, should have ripped off from down below this area and don't panic because there is an easy way to fix this so all right. to get this bottom part off just gonna, you're going to need to take a few screws off um there's going to be a screw here right next to the uh, power um the controller ports and another one here next to the controller ports and right by the uh, power switch in the back here it's going to be one right here just underneath that and so let's just take them off So now you're gonna flip the PS2 over, but be careful because this is loose now, and this controller port area is loose. So you just like hold them like this, and then now just take the cap off, and we're gonna take it apart and we'll take off a few more screws. going to be a screw here, 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 and here. I don't happen to have that screw, so just, if it's there, you know, take it off. This uh, expansion bay area might be the area that's a little bit different than other PS2s, so I don't, I can't help you if you don't have a version four PS2. So, All right. now you take this off. Oh yeah, I forgot to. There's gonna be uh, there's gonna be two more screws here as you saw me take off. So, like, yeah, sorry about that. Now, where your um, the power ribbons connect to is pretty easy to find. It's just by the uh, red, yellow, and white cords. Um, it's going to be right here. It's going to be a little flat that most power ribbons connect to, something like that. And it opens and closes. So, alright. So, just take your, you know, uh, power ribbon. Uh, there's going to be a blue side and a silver side with like little stripes on it. You're going to need to connect the silver side stripes on it to like facing the bottom. So right here and just put it, try and get it as far inside the little flat port as possibly can and just close the port on it. It's not going to be as sturdy as it was when it was manufactured, but you'll, it'll be able to uh, work and everything will function correctly. So be careful, once again, not to take this off. And if you do, just, you know, reconnect it. Alright, so this... You're going to want to put it... 
it's optional. I mean, there's a little like hook area right in here, and you could just like put it right there, just to hold it in place to support it. And just try and flip your PS2 over, but make sure everything stays in place. Sorry about this. And put your, uh, you know, thing underneath it and just put it in place. Alright. So, now that you've got everything. Oh, wait a second. Sorry about this. Um, a few seconds. Here we go. Alright. So now that you've got everything set up again, we are going to put the expansion bay back up. And remember, those are the small screws. The smaller screws then the screws that connect the uh, bottom of the PS2 together. So, you know, just turn back, turn back on. Just you know, put your final cover back. And by the way, I forgot to do something. Uh, just take this off again to re to to reconnect the uh, bottom part to the PS2. Like you know, just put those screws back in place. One right here. Another one next to the controller ports. And on the other side of the controller port. And just put Cap back on. Try and fit it around the controllers first, and everything should be working fine. Let's see that. Let's see. Alright, hold on. A Oh, I, I, I put the uh, wrong cable in. Sorry about that. If I uh, got you scared or anything. Um, let me just find this cable. Sorry. I put the uh, video cables in. And not. Alright, yeah, so you're going to plug, you know, the power cable in. And just turn it on. And everything should be working again. There we go. This game sucks, by the way. Don't buy it. Alright. And there you have it. Thanks for watching my video.